Now, this conference is really important because uh, it really synthesizes what we've learned over the last 17 years, uh, particularly as it relates to the whole epigenome and how it relates to cancer in particular. So the organizers and I have really put together a meeting which is not only focused on an overall view of the epigenome, um, but also how we can drug the epigenome. How do we come up with therapies uh, which can really um, change uh, the alterations which have occurred within a cancer cell and make the cancer cell either behave in a more normal fashion or alternatively, what's very exciting at the moment, is make the uh, cancer cell more visible to the immune system and so it can be recognized and killed by the immune system. And another thing we'll be exploring is the area of combination therapies where we're very interested in treating patients who have developed resistance to standard chemotherapy. For example, very many people get treated and then the tumor becomes resistant. Well, we found that we can, by using these kind of epigenetic drugs, restore sensitivity. And so we'll be exploring all of those things at our meeting in Atlanta. Three of the most exciting things that we expect to see are, relate to um, the whole epigenome, uh, firstly. How is the, uh, all of the 20-odd thousand genes in the cell, how are they packaged, what do they look like, and how are they controlled? And so there's sort of three ways in which this control can be exerted. Firstly, there are, there, there are switches which allow the gene to be either on or off. Right? It's, it's, it's like a gate that says you can be on or you can be off. Those are what we call transcription start sites. We have new information as to how they work. The second thing which is really important is the understanding of these enhancers. These are the rheostats or the controllers which actually communicate with the start site and actually turn up and down the number of times the gene is going to be uh, uh, used. And then finally, what's been a complete uh, black box up until now is this area of how fast the gene is actually transcribed, how fast the, um, uh, the, the apparatus actually translates the information. So those are three things which are going to be very, very exciting. We haven't been able to do that before, and I think the ACR Special Conference is just uniquely positioned precisely at the right time to answer those kind of questions. We have some of the sort of luminaries in the field that will be coming to uh, present their latest uh, work. That's uh, really important. We also have some people who over the last uh, 10 years we might regard as being rising stars. People who have, uh, you know, started in this field and really moved it up uh, over the last 10 years. And then there is room in the program for junior investigators also to make presentations. Uh, we have one person who's only been an assistant professor for one year, for example. So we've got a really nice mixture of people that are interested in, in, in these different uh, um, mechanisms. And then there's also the opportunity for um, papers to be picked out of the, the abstracts which are sent in for presentation on the platform. So we expect um, people to send in their work and then the committee will actually pick a few of those uh, with a bias towards young investigators and give them the opportunity maybe for the very first time in their scientific career uh, to speak in front of such an audience. So it's very, very exciting. I think the balance is really important. Stars, you know, rising stars and new stars. So there's a lot of collaboration which occurs. Uh, some people are very skilled at particular kinds of experimental approaches. And uh, the advantage of a conference like this is you get the opportunity to meet those people, uh, to have lunch with them, to have dinner with them, uh, to meet them in the coffee breaks and, and discuss those kinds of collaborations. Of course, we also expect some representation from drug companies. Uh, many of the drug companies are very interested in this area. And so some of those people will be there too. Some of them are giving talks. Uh, but there'll be the interaction, uh, the ability to interact with them as well and to strike up collaborations. Uh, many of the people at the conference have already collaborated together uh, as part of Stand Up to Cancer, for, as an example. So, um, you know, this, this conference will, I think, develop a sort of a, um, 
I don't know quite know what the word is, but there will certainly be a, a, a feeling of a, of a group activity at this very exciting time in epigenetics research. Thank you.